But I want to try and persuade you that there are reasons why we should be optimistic in general. And that's a very difficult thing to do today because we are confronting tremendous problems in this world. Things like global climate change, which seem almost impossible to solve, or social inequality, which seems endemic and uh, difficult to eliminate. The scale of these problems, though, is even more reason why we should be optimistic. Because what we know is that in the past, every great and difficult thing that has been accomplished, every breakthrough, has in fact required a very strong sense of optimism that it was possible. Think of uh, the first airplanes. It's hard enough to create something good and great、uh, deliberately and with intention. And、um, it's no guarantee, just because we believe something will happen, that it will happen. But we do know that unless we believe that something can happen, it's not going to happen inadvertently by itself. And so、um, it becomes really important that we imagine. A world that we want, that we can imagine solutions that we want, and believe that we can make them happen. And that belief in making something impossible happen is what has shaped our future so far. So, our own history has been basically shaped by optimists. And if we want to shape the future, we need to be optimistic. That world that we're shaping is not a world that's perfect. It's not perfection. There's no lack of problems. There's no absence of bad things. It is totally not utopia. It's what I would call protopia, a world in which things are a little bit better. And that sense of optimism of it is, is in a perspective where we expect the world to yield a little bit more good than bad. To have a few more reasons to hope than to fear. Historical progress. That if we transcend kind of anecdote and look at data in a scientific, rational way, that we can see that the evidence says that on average, on a global scale, over time, over the last 500 years, there has been incremental improvement over time.